Hello, Elliot. Are you awake? So, how do we start an MZ TS125? Okay, there probably aren't very many people out there who need to know this, but there might be somebody because it's not as obvious as uh, modern bikes. There is no electric start. There is two stroke fuel in the tank, which you have to mix. So you put one cap of this to every gallon two stroke oil in it which will give you a 50 to 1 mix approximately currently currently I'm using this Oregon it's supposed to be very good low smoke we'll see so we've got a cap full of that to every gallon of fuel carburetor's probably emptied itself because it's been standing for a couple of months the question is given that the temperature is currently in here about four and a half degrees Celsius. I would call that bloody freezing. How can we start this bike? Now I used to ride this bike all year round, so I must have started it in the winter. So let's go over it. First up, the ignition is actually here. It's a, a German thing. When the key is at, uh, what would that be? Five o'clock? Five o'clock, the bike's off. You can put the side light on the parking light and take the key out. Not advisable on a six volt system. And also it's flattening the battery, which I'm going to need in a minute. Or you can flick it all the way to about just half past three. And what that does is it bypasses the battery and puts the dynamo or the generator straight to the ignition system. So you can bump start it. You have to run with it. Uh, let the clutch out and it should fire up. But if we're lucky, when I put it to six o'clock, should have a pop. Oh yeah, six o'clock is uh, <laughs> six o'clock. We have ignition, no lights. It's a eighties bike. Uh, that's the position we'd start it. There is a side light, headlight. So side light seven o'clock, headlight eight o'clock. The six o'clock is where you would start it and you can see we've got a neutral and an ignition light. I'm going to turn that off for a moment because I need to just move the bike out so I can get to the kickstand which being German kick start sorry not kickstand to get to the kick start which being German is weirdly on the left. In fact I used to have a CZ bike a CZ 175 trail bike I had two of those actually and the kick start on those bikes was actually also the gear lever. You just pressed it in and turned it around from memory. Wish I still had those bikes, they're fantastic. Anyway, I have never been able to kick this bike with my left foot. I just can't do it. I've seen people sit on them and kick them with the left foot. Maybe it's a German thing, but uh, I find it better if I stand to one side, the left-hand side, and kick it with my right. So I'm just gonna move the bike into position and go through how I start this bike. Now, Elliot the Camel may or may not start, depends what mood he's in. Always started when I used him every day, but he might have a bit of a salt on. He's been in here for a while. Actually, I've just finished doing my garage up internally. I have to do the outside yet. And my wife claims I've only bothered to do it because of that bike. And she knows me far better than I know myself. I love this old book. It's the MZ handbook for the TS125, TS150 and TS250. bit faded, but uh, it's wonderful. And it gives you this advice. First of all, it congratulates you on having the confidence to place trust in their nationally owned works, which is good. And what I like best is now it even will depend on you to take an unmixed pleasure in your MZ in future. So it's up to you. Even old motoring fans may derive benefit from this booklet. They certainly will find many a hint which has sunk into oblivion. So, in the book itself, it gives you the key positions as 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 5. 
So position three, ignition on. Main and tail lights are burning. Position four, ignition switched off, parking. That's that one. Position five, yeah, that's the one, direct position to dynamo. Somewhat strange there, but it's not. All switched off. One, ignition switched on without light. Two, ignition switched on and parking and tail lights are burning. So I put the bike on its centre stand. Look at that for a fixed wheel. Who did that? Well, the tax is due. So you can start it on the side stand, it doesn't have to be on the centre stand, but I put it on the centre stand. Now the first thing I need to do is turn on the fuel and you'll see the fuel going into the carburetor. All the fuel in the carburetor is probably drained away while it's been standing. It's just the way it is. And the next thing to do is to pull the choke lever here. That's the second thing, so fuel on. You can go to reserve if necessary, but there's enough in there for me just to go to fuel on. Choke on. Ignition off. Now, I'm just going to open the garage door because there will be smoke. The fuel is on, but the ignition is off, the choke is on. I'm going to kick it over a couple of times. Three times, in fact, just to prime it. So that's now primed. Hopefully now we can go with ignition. So, have ignition, primed it, choke is on, a little bit of throttle, one kick. S125. It was reliable it was the day I had it, but it's seven years ago. A bit smoky in here though. Codger Biker is out. <laughs>